Hello, I'm back. This time with a revamped model of my old, um, I'm not going to say uh, solid state takeoff again. I'm awake this time. I recorded that video at 4 o'clock in the morning. Let's get this thing flying. But yes, this is my new extremely tiny version of the uh, single stage to orbit craft that I built. I've taken off four of the inside flaps. I've removed four of the six um, bits of space tape that I had stuck on there. And I've removed the battery along with the two inside scoops. So now you've got one for the uh, RAM, number two is the pod, three is the SAS, four is the liquid, five is the rocket one, six is the engine, number seven is the one rocket, then obviously eight, nine, ten and eleven are the four wheels, up to fifteen are the four flaps, up to seventeen is the two struts on each end, and then eight more is twenty-five for the eight wings. Right, let's show all this stuff off. A few things I've changed this time over the last time is I've started it off with a little bit less fuel as well. I landed with uh, a very large amount of fuel last time. I certainly did not need um, a full tank, so I figure, you know, lighten the load. I might get a little bit of extra speed once I get up into space. If not, well, I should still be able to land it without any problems. Well, complete the orbit, should I say. Yeah, same as last time, we're just going to keep it around the 10 degree mark. Let's bring this up onto times two. Maybe if I drop it down a bit further, I can knock it up to times three. It always seems to raise a bit, uh, a little bit quicker once I take it up. And it gets a bit of twitches as well. There it goes again, twitching. Let's just set that nice and straight. But yeah, I've had a look around. I still can't find any um, SSTO planes that are this small. Most of them look pretty cool, you know, but yeah, they're generally a lot bigger or they've got a lot more parts. Maybe this is just something that's really easy to do. Maybe it's something that nobody's thought of doing before. I have no idea. There are far too many videos to go through every single one of them. I just looked at the more popular ones. And the one on the KSP forums is something like 190 pages long, so yeah, that's that's quite a bit. I'd I'd look at the first um, 10 or so and the last ones, but all them ones in the middle, far too many to search through. If anyone has seen something like this, or even smaller than this, I mean, I don't know if you could remove some of these eight wings. I haven't tried because I think it looks pretty cool. Yeah, if you think it uh, can be done, please let me know. Because I am legitimately interested in uh, seeing one. When I first started trying to make these um, single stage to orbit things, it, I, I spent ages building massive ships with huge amounts of rockets, you know, to try and get all that extra power and rawr, get right up in there with all this extra fuel and everything. And just a lot of messing about. <laughs> and then last night, just derping about and I end up building this thing. Okay, we're getting up there now. Let's bring this down to times one so the oxygen gets time to... I have no idea how the system works, but I'm going to assume that the oxygen works better if it's on times one. Because the game does skip a bit when you put it up to times four. I still do find it quite interesting that even though the air intake says 0.00, .00 there is, you know, 
the, the engine's working. Admittedly, the uh, thrust is dropping pretty damn quick. I assume that that just means that the air intake has nothing left over. No backup oxygen or whatever, I don't know how it works. Get in there. Slowly approaching the 30 kilometer mark. See if this thing will reach the uh, the 2.2k mark this time. Just gonna slowly bring the throttle back. Hopefully stop it from kicking out too early. Oh, there it goes. Come on. Live. Live. There we go. Just gotta nurse it nice and gently. Well, we've certainly passed the 2.2k, we're up to nearly 2.3. Will it reach 2.3? Oh, nah, I don't think it's going to quite make it. Nope, 2,285 point something. Well, I'll keep it going for as long as it's willing. And then I'll uh, turn the other rocket engine on. Well, turn the rocket engine on. And we'll have a look at just how well we've done. Nope. 0.7. Hmm. I think that'll do. That'll do, dog. That'll do. Uh, 73. Not quite as good as last time. That was like 108. But I'm over the 70 kilometer mark. So I'm hoping that that will be okay. Let's find out. Worst bit, waiting for the bloody ability to go up into times 5 and 10 and whatever else. Just like that. Okay, that should do it. Right, let's get this thing to the forward direction. Because there's only one engine, I just need to play with the throttle a little, just to keep it going forwards. Fifty, sixty. There you go. Seventy-seven point eight on that side, and seventy-two point seven on this side. We have reached orbits. Thank you, thank you. Right, speed up. And let's bring this thing home. See if I can do a better job at landing. Don't want to overshoot the place. quite sure how much to uh, bring it down by. Let's 
be crazy and just take it all the way down. There we go. See what happens. Right. I can now... Oh, it's upside down. Beautiful. I can now reverse the rockets again. Still had too much oxidizer. I could even I could make the ship even lighter if I needed. Flip it back forwards. And let's speed this up. Now it's just a waiting game to see when it re-enters the uh, atmosphere and gets a bit of air braking going on. Huh, monopropellant. And it comes in the cockpit. Hmm. Could probably make this ship a little bit lighter if I removed that as well. Maybe if I go for a Mark III on this thing and try to bring it down below 25 parts, I might have to do that. But for now, nah. Looks like we're going to overshoot it again. It's definitely not coming down quick enough. Let's see if I can spin this thing and uh, get a bit of reverse thrust. I really do need to practice at doing this particular type of manoeuvre. I never seem to do it enough. It looks like it's going to come down way too much. And then it never does. Okay. Boop. I'm not going to mess about trying to do a little trick landing like I did last time where I brought it down to like 600 meters over the water and then made it look like it was a drastic recovery. Just going to bring it in. But yeah, you can see this thing is pretty agile considering it hasn't got any center um, flaps. It's, uh, yeah. Incredibly agile. As for left and right movements, well, there you go. Once again, I'm bringing it down with <laughs> still plenty of fuel remaining. I think that was even more efficient than last time. It's amazing what happens when you reduce the weight. And... Touchdown. Awesome. Thanks for viewing, guys. If you've enjoyed it, feel free to click the like button. Let me know what you think of it and if there's anything better that you could do. And, uh... As always, check out the new videos and uh, keep on flying.